Although in my heart I am happy, yet in memory it sometimes adheres. In that neat little spot by the smirla, where I first saw the light of the dawn, where I played with my friends and companions, near my home in sweet life. Dear homeland, I'll always think of you. No matter how long I'm away, and my thoughts that will always be with you. On the wind blowing from Trilby Bay, when Ireland was fighting for freedom. With my comrades I fought like a man For independence for my own native country And my home in sweet Lyra Compon <laughs>
six. Six outside of marriage. I've been here in Ireland after a while. Do you know something? There's too, there's too many people here. There's no human here. They're all great. <laughs> But these four women congregated outside the door and said, Well, you're missing your man. And you talked about six outside of marriage. Yeah, so. Where did they get it? Six outside of marriage. Oh, how else are we supposed to get it? <laughs> <laughs> this Irish priest went to Australia to practice religion. He was there about six months. And this Aborigine came up to him one day and he says, Why do you wear your collar back to front? Oh, he says, I'm a priest. He says, I'm a father. Oh, I father too. He says, I'm a father of 20. Oh no, says the priest, you don't understand, he says, I'm a father of thousands. He says, you're right. I'm a father of thousands. But he says, in that case, he says, Rob, you ran your collar back to put you should wear your thousands back to put It's never too late to start to get up and have some fun. The sun will be just a shiny in the morning as the first day the world begins. Well, at 80, I started smoking. Took to drinking at 85. At 90, I started courting. I thought I was alive. 95 saw me in. Determined to rake in the pile. At a hundred, I made my first million, and I started living in style. Well, it's never too late to start living. To get up and have some fun. The sun will be just a shiny in the morning as the first day the world. I moved to an uptown penthouse. Used fifties to light my cigars. Developed a taste for strong champagne. Go fast, Italian cars. Well, the doctor, he gave me a warning. And the lecture in right and wrong. If I didn't give up my simple ways, I wouldn't live very long. <laughs> and I said, well, it's never too late to start living. To get up and have some fun. The sun will be just a shiny in the morning as the first day the world be done. Sad bells. Well, I'm a 200-year-old alcoholic. <laughs> and the nicotine is cut up on me. And worst of all, in this morning's mail, I got a suit for fraternity. Because <laughs> I'm not really unhappy. Because maybe I'll have me a son. And the sun will be just a shiny in the morning as the first day of the world be Well, it's never too late to start living. You get up and have some fun. The sun will be just a shiny in the morning as the first day of the world be Gettles would be going away from a shop break to teach their, their religion and the vocation. And uh, <laughs> she'd be saying, be careful now and don't be going into that. Because you know what's going to happen. But the worst of all, she said, is me. Oh, the devil is tempting them every hour and minute of the day. And will you keep away? And there was a, a, a sister. She was Sister Angela, but the young one just call her Henny. Because she'd back up the Reverend Mother with everything. Oh, yes, yes, me never again. Very good. Looking back at the same. And you're a mean her own. Anyway, that coming back, they came back after the break, and the first one they called her, oh, God, this nun came up and she says to the Reverend Mother, Can I see you, sister? I have. You used to tell you what's wrong. She says, I have to leave him for his soul. You know, she says, I met some, I got pregnant. 
Så hadde jeg fått en bodder av oss, ja, jeg har ikke fått en ja, du sjakk, og jeg skjønte ikke så på drink, og jeg tok kold i hånden ned. And that was fine. She said, I hope this won't be happening too often. But it happened again, but you know what I mean. And you won't believe it, but you know who it happened to. Henry. Evangelium. So, the Reverend Mother was in an awful bed, she did it anyway. And the next thing, who wanted to give this promise? The next thing, there was a knock on the door, and she left in. The cleaning woman arrives in, a woman in her 60s. And the little mother is looking at her and she says, Not you. You won't tell me it is. You have the same problem. She said, You won't. No, said the cleaning woman, and she was a fairly soul girl. And she said, There's nothing going on with this convict on you, picking and cleaning, and I'm doing all the cleaning. <laughs> <laughs>